Priestley, where do, where do you begin to, to sort of dissect that game this afternoon? Uh, oh, God. Look, you know, we've had some real tight games pretty, pretty much all season. We haven't, you know, I think Scarborough away. Um, but other than that, they've been really, really tight, the games that we've been involved in. Probably looking at our lineup, the way we lined up, I thought it would probably be a little bit more open and um, there might be more goals. Uh, in the game because you know we played with with seven probably attack minded players and not only three three defensive minded players so it's a risk it was a risk but with the players that, that we had available and the players that uh, uh, fit it into into the positions that, that were left open um, I just thought it was worth you know being positive and uh, looked like a good decision in the first 10 minutes uh, at half time uh, looked like oh you know uh, we, we were in the game, but we needed to. We need to be better on the ball. We needed to defend higher. We, you know, we defended way too deep, um, and allowing them to get us. But um, we showed a bit of character second half, and uh, we haven't come from behind and, and won a game this season yet. So that's really pleasing because you know there was probably a little bit of pressure on the second half. You know, we're playing Farsley, uh, probably expected to win. Um, but I thought from the first whistle of the second half, I thought we were excellent, and uh, up until you know, up until the sending off, I thought we looked uh, looked really strong, and probably would go and get more than you know four two. But as it always is, you know, they got one right at the end. Scott, you get sent off, and you just get a minute of of where you're panicking a little bit. But I thought character was probably the big word for us today, and so pleased for us to get the point. Yeah, and how important was it to have Jack Sampson back, and then obviously he gets the goal early, and then. Everyone will see later. His, his second goal is, is quite something. Yeah, it's a great finish. His uh, his second goal. You know, I wonder what he was doing when he brought it down, and then sort sort of went to hook. I'm thinking, well, there's no one, there's no one making a run. But you know, it was a great finish. Um, great for him. Great for his confidence. Um, we've missed him. There's no doubt about it. You know, when he's been out out of the team because he just gives us that point. It just helps. It helps Connor, although we, you know, we've done reasonably well without him. You know, I think we're a better side with him. You know, nice to get some goals. Nice for him to get some goals, uh, because that that's been missing from our play. Um, and you know, it's a great all-round performance from him. And uh, you know, he's pivotal to what we do. And um, you know, I'm sure he'll feel really good tonight. Obviously, it's probably. Quite a good thing that, that Scott Wilson is now back on the bench with, with Scott having been sent off today. So the, the players are, are slowly coming to come back from it, starting to come back from injuries as well. Yeah, we're fortunate, you know, Willow, Willow's come back. You know, I think Henners will, will hopefully be back next week with Charlie out suspended. Scott will be suspended. Thought it was a little bit soft, but um, uh, the second second yellow card. Um, but sometimes you have to overcome. overcome more than just the opposition and I thought we did that you know you sometimes you have to you have to deal with it you know you're not always going to get things go your way and uh, I thought I thought the fans were good yeah, you know we were two one down and they were you know they were singing Chorley Chorley you know and getting behind us and that you know they might people might not think that makes a difference but it does it, it makes a big difference and um, you could see how they felt at the end of the game again so you know we've been good here a um, couple of draws that, that probably should have been wins but you know we're, we're unbeaten at all uh, this season you know when we're going into November so that's all positive um, and you know we just need to build on this one now because we keep putting ourselves in this position you know in and around the playoffs and then we slip back but um, you know I'm just delighted with the way the lads reacted today and it was a great three points. Yeah our home record over the last few seasons is, is excellent we lost four or five games out of 35 which is, which is incredible really for the league form. But obviously next up we go to Southport, a, a team that you've managed the course before, um, and a week to prepare for it. Yeah, and and we probably need that, you know, just just to rest a few, um, also to get one or two their, their fitness levels up a little bit, um, and so they're ready for that for the Southport because I would say it's one of the toughest places to go. I think that they've got beat today uh, by Buxton, but uh, very rarely that that happens to them, and you know. I know there's going to be a reaction and Liam will get a reaction out of them um, and you know it's tough it's a real tough place we'll have to roll our sleeves up um, and you know I've got massive respect for Liam I think you know he's easily one of the best managers in this league and um, 
his team to, uh, are always well organised and uh, you know they're up there fighting and um, you know we'll we'll have to be at our very best if we're going to get anything there. And hopefully we'll have a, a, a sizable following now. It's been moved from the Tuesday to the Saturday. It allows more people to go. Yeah, uh, and probably you know probably for both teams. You know both teams have got small squads. I know he's got a small squad. Um, it just allows allows a little bit more recovery, a little bit more preparation. Um, Obviously, some games in the week when when we're not playing, so we have to see how those go. But you know, you can only do what you can do. And today we've done it. You know, we've got got three points at home, bounced back, which we've done pretty well this season. And uh, yeah, look forward to to going and seeing Liam.